in the mid 90s, I was working at the National Book Foundation, which most people know for the National Book Awards, but it also runs a number of educational outreach programs in New York where it's based and across the country. And one of those was a summer writing camp for people aged 14 and up. And in 1995, the, um, I started the camp for them. And the second year of the camp, I had two people on the faculty because we were just starting to grow. They were Norma Fox Mazer, and the other was Jacqueline Woodson. Jackie used to make these jokes with me like, Meg, you want to make money? Take out the line breaks, right? <laughs> Write fiction. That's right. You know. And then out of the blue, Jackie asked me if I would read a manuscript of hers before she sent it to her editor. And it turned out she wanted me to read it because it was a novel made of poems called Locomotion. And of course, I had lots to say about the poems. But at the same time, I'm like, OK, she's now really laid down the gauntlet immediately I knew I had to try writing in this form. This is, this is diminishing somewhat and maybe because of that leadership role that, that the young adult and middle, you know, people who write for young people are now setting, but especially the publishing industry kind of, you know, set, set us off on the side. You know, the implication being it's easier to write for children, right? Oh, it's easy, ah, picture book. You know, oh, I could whip that off, you know, if I just had time, you know. Um, and I think that that's slowly changing the respect that that literature for young people is finally getting. But it's been a long battle. Getting just those, the, the first, for me, poem on the page or the first even line. When I wrote um, Trooper, my picture book, it took me a year to write the book. But what took the longest was just the, the first sentence. When I was 12, I wrote a poem uh, in which I talked about how curious I was to know where I came from and who my birth mother was. And I read this to my mom, my adoptive mom. And she must have said something like, you know, oh, that's very nice, dear. And then she ran out of the room. And I learned a couple of things. One that this poetry stuff's pretty powerful, right? Made mom run out of the room. But also I had entered taboo territory in terms of subject matter in my home. And it shut me down. I kept writing, but I never wrote anything about being adopted until, again, until I was in my mid twenties. And so when I speak with young people, I tell them that story. And I say, don't let anyone tell you what you can't write about. You know, even if you end up, what you write ends up to be for the drawer and you never show it to anyone, write it anyway, write it. You, you know, don't, don't write to please your parents or to please your teachers, write for yourself. And don't, you know, think that there's certain things you can't say to that piece of paper.